Bethesda Game Studios is known for creating open living worlds with seemingly limitless gameplay content. But what if there was another way to experience even more, something all new? Introducing Creation Club, a collection of new game content for Skyrim and Fallout 4, including new weapons, new armor, new outfits and accessories, new crafting and housing features, even new gameplay enhancements. Using Creation Club is easy. Browse the selection in-game by category and use credits to download right there. Your new content will appear automatically. Creation Club content is made by Bethesda Game Studios and outside developers, including the very best community creators. These outside creators work hand in hand with Bethesda Game Studios, which means all content will be fully compatible with your save games, achievements, and official add-ons. Creation Club is coming this summer for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Creation Club, the worlds of Fallout 4 and Skyrim just got a little bit bigger. Hey guys, Vizella Productions here. E3 is finally over, and now we get to look over and see who actually won this year's E3. Considered one of the worst was Bethesda's. A lot of things in that conference were just really bad decisions. Like, so many things were just uncalled for. One of the things that they announced was Creation Club, which was paid mods for Elder Scrolls and Fallout 4. That E3 announcement video, currently right now, has over 50,000 dislikes and only just over 2,000 likes. But in Bethesda's FAQ, they stated that Creation Club program is just paid mods from large Bethesda developers. Other mods will stay the same and remain free. So the fact that modders are getting paid is nice. It gives talented modders a chance to get a small job off of what they do best. But I think the reason this has so much dislikes is because it's still paid mods. Bethesda is already making bank off of mods, so you don't need to charge for more mods. It doesn't make sense, like, you're not gonna go bankrupt if you have to pay for mods. The thing is, is just, Bethesda, like, always has had a special place when I play games. Like, when I play, um, games, I always think of, uh, Bethesda first as one of my favorite game companies because, uh, Skyrim, just Skyrim, all, all together, just Skyrim. I really love that game, I've talked about, um, countless times about like how Skyrim was really the first actual game I played and yeah so like the fact that Bethesda keeps screwing up like this is just like really confusing because I don't understand how a company can make such like such great games like Skyrim and mess up like this over and over and over because I I heard that they tried to do this a couple years ago and it failed so they stopped doing it and now they're bringing it back but still like, I would expect more from Bethesda as a company, and I wish that they actually put more time into E3, and, and like, if they even just, like, I understand that during their E3, their whole goal was to try and just announce games that were coming out this year, but if they said this stuff like, uh, alright, we're planning to work on the next Skyrim game, even though they're not even working on new Skyrim game, as long as they're, like, thinking about it, and they said that, then I would actually um, probably like this more because they're getting us hyped up for more stuff, but they don't do that at all. It's just Creation Club updates, Creation Club, more stuff, and the, yeah, that's why I ruined it. The only other thing that I can think of that kind of made people really dislike this uh, stream was be the whole appeal of Bethesda Land trying to keep up with the Fallout theme, but still. But I thought that Bethesda could do a good E3, and I I know that they do, do uh, sometimes do good E3s, but this was definitely not one of them, and I really wish that it was, but it, it's not, so that's sad. Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and see you.